Okay, uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is uh, Patrick Moleki. I'm a, a research scientist with Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada in Saskatoon. Uh, I'm in the oil seed, uh, uh, oil seed agronomy program. And today I'm out here uh, to come and talk to you about, uh, uh, it's one of the studies we are doing and this is improving the management of uh, sclerotinia stem rot of canola uh, using fungicides and the better risk assessment uh, uh, tools. So this study is um, actually uh, led by uh, Dr. Kelly Tatoso out of uh, Lacombe uh, in Alberta. And the objectives for this study, uh, there are five objectives basically. Uh, one of the objectives is we want to refine the use of different tools of, uh, uh, of, of, of assessing uh, uh, sclerotinia in the crop. Uh, one of them is of course the uh, PCR analysis and the other one is the use of potential spot traps uh, that can that can be used. So with this we have got two types of uh, uh, small traps that we are using and uh, uh, one of them is, um, is is called the grips uh, that, that uses uh, uh, it's called the grip that uses a rotor rod to add to take the, I mean, to take spot samples and the other one is is, is called uh, uh, um, Esponado uh, sampler. So these two types are also you know, we also use the traditional petal petal sampling to find as uh, the, the, the the petal analysis. So these three types are going to be used in terms of assessing what is the intensity of uh, scrotinia, how early can we detect that scrotinia. Now, in terms of management, we also have uh, one of the other studies to look at what is the impact of the environment. Uh, we are talking about relative humidity, uh, rainfall, temperature. So as you can see out there, we have got a weather station right in the field. So that weather station, that's where we are taking all the weather conditions, right from the time the crop was seeded uh, to the, to, to me, to, to up, to, up to this time, we are still collecting that information. So we want to see how the environmental factors affect the, uh, the development of the disease. And the other objective is to evaluate um, the efficacy of uh, early application or multiple applications of fungicides. So we are looking at um, after the yellow bud stage to see how, how should we just apply soon after the yellow bud stage, one week after, two weeks after, three weeks after, four weeks after. And the other treatment also is to see should we apply twice or just one time is okay. So after the yellow bud stage, we apply the yellow bud stage and then we apply another application after two weeks or after three weeks or after four weeks. So we want to see the timing in terms of management of scrotinia. Uh, the other objective, of course, is to see the development of, to understand the impact of seeding rate, for example. So in here, we have got two seeding rates, one at 60, uh, uh, 60 plants per square meter, and the other one at 120 plants per square meter. So as you can see behind me here, uh, we have more lodging on the one side there, and the other half here is not as badly lodged. So the one side that is heavily lodged, this is a heavy, the heavier seeding, uh, where we had more, more, more seeds at 120 pounds, per 120 plants per square meter. And you can see this side where the plants were not as, as densely seeded. The plants that have, have lodged it slightly compared to the, other, to the other side. And we have seen that throughout the entire field here. So basically it shows you that when you are seeding at a higher density, the plants are going to not to have very strong, uh, very strong stems uh, because they are competing, they could be taller. So they make them more susceptible to lodging as compared to uh, a lower plant density where the plants may have thicker stems and may have you know, stronger, uh, strong, it's a stronger plant compared to the other one. And the other one also is, um, we are looking at the development, better understanding of how uh, inoculum is available in the environment. So we, as, as I mentioned already, we are looking at the different environmental factors. So we take all these different things in order to assess the disease so that we can improve the management of sclerotinia. So in, in essence, that's the purpose of this study and, uh, and what we are doing. 